statement if it went through the entire process, meaning uh, if, if we did, if we were able to properly allocate it, it would go to a job, the job would then be sold, and when it was sold, it was going to go to an income statement account in the form of cost of goods sold. So this would be its ultimate destination in any case. So that's that's the justification for it going to cost of goods sold. So again, we're gonna we got this difference. It's gonna happen every time because we're using estimates. We need to get rid of it. We got to put it to an income statement account to do that because the income statement accounts will close out to retained earnings. We're gonna choose cost of goods sold in order to do that because that would be the natural income statement account to choose. Also note that this could this amount could be a debit or a credit at this point. It happens to be a debit now, but if it were a credit we would we would still write it off to cost of goods sold and that means that cost of goods sold could be we we might end up having to credit it in order to do this which sh should look a little unusual because it's uh, cost of goods sold is an expense account it usually only goes up in the debit direction this is an exception to that rule typically because uh, if we have to credit cost of goods sold we'll do that anyways because we're going to do whatever we need to do to make this go to zero. It's not about cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is just an account we're using to, to clear this out. And the reason it's okay is because it's in material to, to decision-making processes. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So the journal entry is pretty straightforward. Once we know that, we're just gonna say, okay, I need to make this zero. It has a uh, debit balance in it currently. So we're gonna do the opposite thing to it. We're gonna credit it to make it go down. So I'm gonna right click and copy that. We're going to put that on the bottom in F5, right click and paste, one, two, three. The credit's just going to be for whatever's in there. It's going to be 380. Then we're going to debit something. we got to figure out what we're going to debit to. We're going to say, hmm, negative that number, debit 380. You could just type it in there. We're going to say, hmm, where could I put this thing? Get rid of it because I don't want it there for next mod. Should hop out down here somewhere so then it flows out to retained earnings and we don't never have to see it again. Seems logical to put it hmm, to cost of goods sold because that's what would ultimately go anyways at some point in time. Let's do that. So cost of goods sold, expense account. We're going to right click and copy. And again, it, it doesn't make sense to think about the expense account here and say, does it make sense from a cost of goods sold perspective in other, any other way than what we've discussed? Meaning cost of goods sold is an expense account. It only goes up with a debit direction. It doesn't mean necessarily we're going to debit this because it's just we could be crediting cost of goods sold because again we're just we're doing whatever we need to do to clear out this estimate that was was wrong because it's an estimate okay so we're going to go back up here and put this into uh f4 right click and paste one two three and that's it so then we'll just post this out here's cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is way down here so we're gonna have to scroll all the way to the right to post this to the gl so it's going to be in the same order assets liabilities equity cost of goods sold way over here it's going to be on the debit side so i'm going to put my cursor in aa18 we're going to use our arrows to do this so i'm going to hit equals then use the left arrow to just keep going left 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 up 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 to get to that cost of goods sold and enter so there's the cost of goods sold goes up to the 380 that 380 then can be found on the trial balance uh, actually the 380 there it is <laughs> find on the trial balance we're out of balance by the 380 and net income went down by the 380 that's a loss because there's no revenue so we we actually did hit the income statement but it's for a small amount here and then we're going to uh, record the other side factory overhead to bring it to zero that's third to last asset account so we're going to go down here. It's right there. We need on the credit side, I'm in T30, where we say equals. I'm going to just scroll up to the last journal entry. And there it is, 380 and enter. So that brings the, th the 380 down by 380 to zero. That zero balance is now on our factory overhead here. So that's we, we achieved our goal here. We did affect the income statement and affected net income for this time period, which may or may not be right. It might be wrong timing wise. It should go there anyways at some point in time. You know, it's only a timing difference, hopefully, because we will sell the inventory at some point. But uh, it's off timing wise. It should be pretty small relative to our, our the rest of our information. When we rec and we haven't recorded the sales 
point, which we'll do later. So uh, it should be small compared, hopefully, to the rest of the numbers. And therefore, uh, it's okay to do that because we need to make this zero uh, so that we can start this whole process over in the next time period, the next month.